These five iPhone tips and tricks will make your life easier. And guess what? The fifth tip is my favorite. So stick around and watch this video till the end. Without wasting my time, let's dive in. The next time you want to move multiple icons from one screen to another, don't move them one by one like this. Now do this instead. Hold and drag the first one and click the other icons you want to move. And move them all together like this. If you find a useful material online, you want to save it offline so that you can read it at any time. I've got a trick for you. First take a screenshot of the page. Click on the screenshot. And click on full page. Now you have the whole web page to yourself. And you can go ahead and save it offline. To save it, click on the icon at the top right corner here. Now navigate to save to files. Click on save to files. And choose wherever you want to save it. Click on save. Go to files and look for where you save your file. Open it and now you can read it at any time without using your data. To move the background of an image, whether you want to use it for your thumbnails or any kind of editing, or you just want to use it to create a sticker, you don't need any complex app or software. You can do this right in your iPhone. To do this, click and hold on a subject. An iPhone will select the subject. You can go back and just drop it in your gallery. And you can see it has created the image without the background you can now export it to your editing app canva or anywhere and then you can now do your designs if you are using an iphone you don't need to download any third party dictionary app you can use the inbuilt iphone dictionary to search for anything to do this go to settings and click on general navigate to dictionary click on dictionary you can see a lot of dictionaries here you can see I've downloaded these ones. You can click on any dictionary of your choice. There are several languages. You can click on any dictionary of your choice and it will download it. You can see it's downloading. So now, each time you need to search for anything, you see this search bar down here. Click on it and let's search for something like, um, let's say, Gen Z. Scroll down and you will see dictionary. So you can see the dictionary here iPhone screen these days are quite large and it's very difficult to use your one hand. But don't worry, there's a way you can use your one hand on iPhone. To do this, you see this horizontal bar at the bottom. Slide it down a little bit and iPhone will bring the screen to the middle. And now you can operate with your one hand. If you want to go out of it, just click anywhere and then it will take you back to full screen. If you find this video useful, please show some appreciation by liking this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future.